So I'm going to go into a little bit about like the targeting audiences and how that, that can be, um, uh, I guess, carried across all those different uh, funnels there and how to target your ideal customer. Again, many of you might already know this. There's no secrets here, uh, but always good to get a bit of a confirmation of what you're doing right. We call it the three-pronged approach uh, to targeting. And uh, the first one is behavioral targeting. As you know, you can put in a lot of interest, develop your colder audiences, and particularly if you're starting out, whether it's a new business or whether you're trying a new product that's different to your existing uh, demographic or whatever your other businesses are, um, the behavioral targeting is a quick way to build big audiences without having own media and your own data. Um, everyone always obviously knows what a, a custom audience is, yeah, on, on Facebook, so that's, uploading your email list, using your pixel data, um, people that watch your video, people that check out your Facebook page, your Instagram page, that message you on Messenger. So that's your owned media. Um, obviously, you can work harder on developing lookalikes for that. And then number three is retargeting. Again, no brainer, and that's hugely important for any e-com brand um, because you know if people are going to your website, they might want to see that product seven times before they make a buying behavior. So if you're spending all this money on putting people through to your sales page for the event or through your e-com um, website and they're, they're sort of digging uh, across all your pages and then you're not doing any retargeting, you're losing all this money on the table. Like that's just such an important element that a lot of people, um, they might set up but they do really poorly. Uh, 